Hi guys, I'm Patrick and today we are going to start a Pinterest project in which I'm going to show you how to do a cool layout like Pinterest has so that all the images are the full resolution and full aspect, aspect ratio in a collection view. So today, in, today we are going to do just the part where we have images inside a fixed cells and tomorrow we'll start doing the Pinterest layout but first we need to lay out some basics so let's go to the main storyboard add the collection view and I've just created the single view project so yeah, let's just add a collection view full screen set the constraints let's set its background color to maybe black increase the size to like 180 and 180 okay so 180 180 let's say the user identifier is just cell Let's now add an image view because that's what we're going to be using because it's a Pinterest app. So let's just add the constraints for all four sides. Top, bottom, right, left. Add the constraints. Now let's open the assistant editor. Say collection view. Let's set the delegate and the data source. So type in click dot delegate is equal to self. Collection view dot data source is equal to self. And if you want more explanation about this, make sure to click in the top right corner of this video right now to see the full tutorials all the way from the beginning of the collection views. So now let's set the delegate UI collection view delegate and UI collection view data source now we can set the collection view number of items in section let's just return 10 and then collection review self for item at index path we're going to create a cell which is going to be equal to collection view dot dq reusable cell with identifier cell for index path index path and just return cell for now because we have to create a custom cell so let's create a new file which is going to be pinterest your collection view cell that's exactly what we want let's go back to the storyboard select the cell open the identity inspector and say pinterest collection view cell now that we've done that, we should be able to go to automatic Pinterest collection view cell and connect the image view. Photo, let's say photo view. Now that we've done that, go back to the view controller, close the system editor, say that this cell is actually a Pinterest collection view cell. Now we have to say cell dot photo view dot image is equal to UI image named photo let's say number plus as a string index path dot row so now that we've done that I'm just going to open the Safari browse some images and so yeah we need 10 images I'll just rename rename them to photo 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and I'll write back here as you can see I have all the images so let's just rename them the photo number let's begin by type 0 this one is going to be 1 then 2 then 3 and so on 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 let's just make them more beautiful by creating a group photo and let, let's just select all of them 
and I don't know why this is so weird by selecting them yeah whatever maybe click away click back no mm -hmm. but no worries let's just try okay we need to do one more thing which is collection view dot layout dot collection view layout as UI collection view flow layout so we need to use that dot item size is equal to cg size width is equal to self dot view dot frame dot width divided by minus 10 divided by 2 and let's just say the exact same thing for the other one for the height cell dot view dot frame dot width minus 10 divided by 2 and let's run and see what happens it should just make just set the images if I'm correct let me just see what I've set okay so it's scale to fill I don't want that I want aspect fit so let's just run it again and see what happens now okay so let's wait for it to run it should be running any second now what is this what happened what happened with the cell let me just say white white background to see is it a problem with the images or is it a problem with the with something else okay so we have this but the photos are not oh yeah i remember so when you're using dot jpg you need to add the extension so now it should be working just fine and i should remember to do that all the time and you should also so that's one thing that you should always remember so let's just remove the cell color and see what it looks like so this is just the base for our layout that we'll be working on tomorrow so you see it's not exactly how we how we would want it to be we want it to be like pinterest let me open it right now to show you Okay, so the comparison between Pinterest and this is obvious. Pinterest just stretches out. The cells are not so it's like say two cells per row. It's dynamic and that's what we want to achieve and what we'll be achieving tomorrow. It's very easy so make sure to tune in for that. And if you enjoyed this one please make sure to hit that like button. If you're new to this channel subscribe, share it with your friends. I'll see you in the next one.